Hello, my name is BC Oladipopo. Thanks for tuning into my podcast. My website can be found at www.inspiredwords.org. Today, I'll be sharing on God's original intention, part two, lessons from Saul. Samuel the prophet reigned over Israel. However, when he was old, the children of Israel asked for a king. This can be found in 1 Samuel 8 verses 5 to 7. And I read, I will read from actually verse 4, New King James Version. Then all the elders of Israel gathered together and came to Samuel at Rahab and said to him, Look, you are old and your sons do not walk in your ways. Now make us a king to judge us like, like the other nations. But the thing displeased Samuel when they asked, Give us a king to judge us. So Samuel prayed to the Lord. And the Lord said to Samuel, Heed the voice of the people in all that they ask you to do. For they have not rejected you, but they have rejected me that I should reign over them. So we can see from the response from the Lord that Samuel was still God's choice for them. But Israel wanted a king. Israel acted as if God did not know that Samuel was old. God obviously had a plan for them, but Israel went, went, went ahead to choose what they wanted and not God's own ways. Therefore, Samuel, which eventually was made the king, was not God's will for them, but it was their choice. First Samuel 8 verse 9, and I read, now, This is the Lord speaking to Samuel. Now therefore, heed their voice. However, you shall tell warn them what manner of king shall rule over them. So God knew already that what they would do. But they still went ahead and they wanted their king. If you read 1 Samuel 8 verses 11 to 17, it tells them, it, the Lord tells them exactly what the king would do. But they still went ahead and they wanted, they just insisted, they wanted to do it their own way. It didn't matter the warnings, they still wanted to do it their own way. 1 Samuel 8 verses 18 to 19. This is now the Lord speaking to the people of Israel through Samuel. And you shall cry out in that day because of your king, whom you have chosen for yourselves, and the Lord will not hear you in that day. If you look at that phrase, whom you have chosen for yourselves, that speaks for itself. Nevertheless, the people refused to obey the voice of Samuel, and they said, No, but we want to have a king reign over us. Once again, we can see that Saul was not God's original intention for them. The wrong choice eventually caused them so much trouble. Despite the warning, they still went ahead and they insisted that he wanted a king. This explains why so many things happen today. Man has a free will and they can choose to disobey God if they want to. Have you ever insisted on having your own way on a matter? You've made your own choices. This is exactly what happened here in the book of 1 Samuel verse 8. And verse eight. Yeah, sorry, chapter 8. And the Lord gave them their king. Verse 22. So the Lord sent to Samuel, heed their voice and make them a king. If that's the, is, that, is that what they want, then that's what they will get. Right, so they had a king and um, according to 1 Samuel 9 verse, um, verse 16. Now this is the Lord speaking to Samuel. He says, tomorrow about this time I will send you a man over the land of Benjamin. And you shall anoint him commander over my people Israel, that he may save my people from the hand of the Philistines. For I have looked upon my people, because their cry has come unto me. So we can see here that they were given a king. Saul was the king whom they chose for themselves. So my question for you today, do you have a Saul in your life? What do I mean? Have you opted to fix a situation with your own agenda as Israel did? Your fix is now giving you major challenges. Saul will never replace the choice of God for your life. Perhaps it's time to disengage your own plan and just say, Lord, I am sorry for choosing Saul. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Do only what you can do to remedy this situation. I now align myself with your will for my life. Whatever it is, it's probably time to say no to Saul. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 17 says, this is the New Testament, therefore be not unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And when we understand what the will of the Lord is, we need to align ourselves. God's original plan for you far outweighs any alternatives you can invent for yourself. So that's my short exhortation for today. Thanks for joining. Have a great day and look. I look forward to 
for you joining me some other time. Thank you. Bye-bye.